Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Tamilia Farms. This is my honey, Tom. Tom today Ellen. is going to attempt. Gra graciously attempt to uh, cut a rutabaga. We're having rutabagas for dinner. I don't know. It's a southern thing. We do rutabagas. Um, I looked on YouTube to try and find a video on how to cut these things, and it was terrible. People... Their videos were horrible. Anyway, this is Tom. Let him explain to you what he's doing. Go ahead, hon. Really, I don't know other than I want to cut it in four pieces. And sometimes, because they're so hard, you use a knife and a hammer. Nice. And you cut it in four pieces. Like you would I would now. turn it around the other way, baby. On the other side. There we go. Like this? Yep. That's going to make it a lot easier. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it won't roll. Yeah, exactly. Take the hammer and just beat back and forth on the top. And it's going to help to cut your beggar into four pieces. In the south, we call them beggars. Ruda, beggar. In Australia, what do they call them, baby? Turnips. We call it a, a, a swede. <laughs> anyway, he put it in the microwave and I was like, oh, he's cooking the rutabaga before you cook it. That's not how it should be done. So I thought we should show you guys what we do to cut our rutabagas. And Tom just got a small hammer to which I clean. And we we're just making small light taps like such. You might want to put it on a cutting board and we have a cutting board but I just thought we've got this granite counter more. we can do it on our granite counter. So right. he's cutting it into little pieces and then he's going to peel the layers off. So honey you have to peel off the uh, skin of the rutabaga because that part it's not going to be eaten. And this is considered the skin of rutabagas, guys. Look right here. That's skin. And that has to come off. But he's doing exactly right. Rutabaga is a very tough vegetable. It'll cook a very deep orange color. And it tastes absolutely delicious. When cooked correctly. Yes. And this is how I prepare to cook my bagger. I've got a slow cooker on and I'm actually going to I have like some smoked turkey necks on it and these are the only three ingredients I'm going to put in which is crushed red peppers not very many Lowry seasoned salt and some black pepper that should do it but if you boil your turkey necks for about an hour if you do wings or any kind of uh, smoke ham hock or whatever you put in, because people in the South put different things in, uh, smoke ham hock you're going to need to cook for about an hour because it takes a while to get that ham hock a little closer to being done. But now as you can see, Tom is preparing the uh, beggar to be chopped in small pieces. You're going to chop it in even, even smaller pieces than this. Honey, this is the part where you can use your little parent, the one you love so much. He said cut it in strips. Yes. So he's doing or chunks. Thing. I like them in chunks because then they, they are, they don't cook up as much. Well, so. you want me to just put them on here? Yeah. Small chunks like that? Uh, a little bit bigger. But yeah, something to that effect. Rutabagas are uh, their type of vegetable that will cook and cook and you, it'll turn to mush if you cook it too long, guys. So you want to just slowly cook uh, these beggars if you are doing it correctly. I don't put any onions in the pot. My dad says that he doesn't do it that way. He just puts in the rutabagas, the meat that he intends to cook with it, and he lets it go... Uh, he lets it cook for about two hours. He watches his pot. That's why I brought out the old crock pot. 
it's easier to do it that way. But Tom likes cutting things up. He's very meticulous and when he's cutting. I don't understand that because I'm not that meticulous about cutting. Um, but he is. And some people cut cuts off the ends of the uh, beggars. But we didn't do that here. And you don't have to. It's all in how comfortable you are. My honey believes in getting the most out of his vegetables. So he's just going to make thin slices as you can see. Very thin slices. Well, to me they they cook better. It doesn't take as long. They cook more thorough when you uh, got smaller chunks. Very good. And this can get pretty dicey. It can get really hard to cut because this is a very, this is a, this is it's a, a turn. Tough vegetable. It really is, but it's delicious, guys. Yes. I promise you, it's delicious when cooked correctly. This is such a good uh, vegetable, and it's got such good uh, antioxidant. I can't say the word. Antioxidant. Yes. So, you know, it gives you a lot of nutrients that you would need. The body loves deep colored vegetables. So, this is what we do. We, um, I just wanted to show you a quick video on how to cut rutabagas. And like I said, my honey gets all of the, uh, he cuts it so thin that he gets all of the, that would be considered the, the root of the vegetable. He doesn't throw hardly anything away. So. No, these are going in compost. Yes. The small pieces that we have left uh, of the skin will go in the compost. But I just wanted to show you a quick video on how to cut your rutabagas. And, oh, those poor people in Australia. Oh, for the love of God, y'all. Please do not nuke your rutabaga. <laughs> <laughs> please what did they call it again baby they called it something a swede a swede please do not nuke your swede god that seemed like you're killing someone <laughs> anyway i just wanted to show you a quick video on how to properly uh get a rutabaga started or you know cut a rutabaga up uh sometimes you can use the knife to do that part too my husband's Finally, using a better knife. Very good. Saw. <laughs> <laughs> so now he's making saw saw chunks, and that looks great. I promise you, this is going to taste delicious. Tom's never had my rutabaga, so nope. this is going to be a treat for him. This is my granny's recipe, so oh, this is how it's gonna it's gonna go down. I may throw a piece of uh, ham in it because ham just makes everything taste better. I don't like ham. I don't cook with ham. But I really want him to enjoy this one, so I may just throw some ham chunks in there just for GP to make him feel good. General purposes to get it, have some really good flavor. Because, you know, pork is the only daggone um, animal I know on earth. You can put pork in anything. It's going to taste a whole lot better. And that's just wrong. I, I tell people that's got to be the most dangerous animal on the planet. <laughs> Anything you, if I dipped you in some um, pork, Tom, you would taste better. So it's crazy what pork can do. Pork is a definitely crazy animal. I don't know how, you know, and it eats the worst stuff, Tom, for everything to taste good. I don't understand that, you know. A pig will eat anything. It'll even eat, you know, human flesh. That's why they say never, truck a, never trust a pig farmer. Because they have disposed of more bodies than you can ever understand. <laughs> so, again, I just wanted to tell you guys to subscribe to the channel. And this is us making some rutabagas. I'm certain it's going to be delicious. Give me some comments. Tell me what you think. Tell me how you tried it. How you made your rutabagas. And what it turned out to be for you. Anyway, subscribe. Thanks. Bye.